History of Programming Languages Without the aid of a stored program, very early computers like Colossus were programmed by altering their circuitry or configuring banks of physical knobs. In order to aid in the cryptanalysis of the Lorenz cipher, British codebreakers created the Colossus computer system between the years of 1943 and 1945. Colossus used thermionic valves, vacuum tubes, to execute Boolean and counting operations. Thus, Colossus is considered as the first programmable electronic digital computer in history, despite the fact that it was programmed via switches and plugs rather than a pre-existing program. Later, programs might be written in machine language, where each instruction is represented in a numeric format that the hardware can directly execute. As an illustration, the instruction to add the value at two memory places can be composed of three numbers. Two memory locations, a opcode that chooses the add operation. The computer's front panel switches were used to toggle in the programs, which were read in as binary or decimal data from punched cards, paper tape, magnetic tape, or paper tape. Later, first-generation programming languages were used to refer to machine languages, 1GL. Next came the creation of so-called second-generation programming languages, 2GL, often known as assembly languages, which were still strongly related to the individual computer's instruction set architecture. These helped the program become considerably more accessible by humans and freed the programmer from laborious and prone-to-error address calculations. The 1950s saw the creation of the first high-level programming languages, sometimes known as third-generation programming languages, 3GL. Plankalkal, created by Konrad Zuse for the German Z3 between 1943 and 1945, was one of the first high-level programming languages created for a computer. But it wasn't put into practice until 1998 and 2000. One of the earliest high-level languages ever created for an electronic computer was John Mouchley's shortcode, which was suggested in 1949. Shortcode statements conveyed mathematical expressions in a comprehensible manner as opposed to machine code. Alick Glenny created AutoCode at the University of Manchester in the early 1950s. It was a programming language that utilized a compiler to translate the language into machine code automatically. The initial code and compiler, which is regarded as the first compiled high-level programming language, were created in 1952 at the University of Manchester for the Mark I computer. The second auto code was designed for the Mark I by R. A. Brooker in 1954 and was designated the Mark I auto code. AutoCode was renowned for its object code optimization and source language diagnostics, which were cutting edge at the time and adjusted for local conditions. Atlas AutoCode, a modern but distinct line of development, was created for the University of Manchester's Atlas One machine. John Backus created Fortran at IBM in 1954. As opposed to only being a design on paper, it was the first widely used high-level general-purpose programming language to have a functional implementation. It continues to be a common language for high-performance computing and is used in the programs that rate and benchmark the fastest supercomputers in the world. Grace Hopper created the Flowmatic programming language in the United States. Between 1955 and 1959, Remington Rand worked on its development for the UNIVAC iHopper, realized that corporate data processing customers were uncomfortable with mathematical notation, and in early 1955, she and her team produced a specification for an English programming language and implemented a prototype. Early in 1958, the Flowmatic compiler was made accessible to the public, and by 1959, it was largely finished. Only Flowmatic and its direct descendant Amaco were in use at the time, therefore it had a significant impact on the design of COBOL.